So now we're going to look at this equation here, x squared minus 4 equals 0. This equation has only one square term and one number, so it will be amenable to uh, solution by taking square root. But this, uh, but this equation also has this quadratic expression in a very special form, which is going to permit us to use uh, the special factorization formula, which is called the difference of squares. And so I'm going to show you both, mo both methods of solution here. Yay! Okay. And of course, this is very simple, but I want to start with a simple example. And of course, we're going to layer on more complexity as we go along. Okay? So for example, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solve it via the taking of square roots. Okay? So if I have x squared minus 4 equals 0, then what I can do is I can say, okay, I can add 4 to the other side, add 4 to the other side, and I get that x squared is equal to positive 4, because 0 plus 4 is 4, right? Okay. But you can see now, I'm perfect. I have the x squared equals 4. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the square root of both sides, as we did before. So x equals the square root of x squared, which is going to be plus minus the square root of 4 which will be, finally, plus minus 2, okay? So that is to say, we have the two solutions, x equals positive 2 and x equals negative 2, okay? We know that if we take 2 squared, we're going to have 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 minus 4 will be 0, so that one works as a solution. And that the same thing happens if we take x equals negative 2. If x equals negative 2, negative 2 squared is negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4, minus 4 is 0. Okay? So these are my two solutions. And here I did it using the square root method. Now if I go over here, I'm going to, so I have the following formula, which, uh, which, which I'm going to explain to you here. So if I have x plus y times x minus y, okay? This is always equal to x squared minus y squared. I'm just going to recap it here for you um, real quick how that's justified. So it's x times x, which is x squared, minus yx plus yx, and then minus y squared. And you can see that this middle term and that middle term go away, leaving us with x squared minus y squared. Okay? This is a special factorization formula called the difference of squares. Okay? So if I were if I were you, I would memorize this formula by heart. x plus y times x minus y equals x squared minus y squared, or vice versa, x squared minus y squared equals to x plus y times x minus y, okay? okay? How does that apply here? Well, this applies because I can see 4 as 2 squared. So if I have x squared minus 4, this is the same as x squared minus 2 squared. You see? And so therefore, and so therefore, this is my x, my 2 is my y, and so I can just plug into this formula to factorize it. So it's going to be x plus 2 times x, x minus 2. Okay? So because of this formula, I know that x squared minus 4 factors as x plus 2 times x minus 2, and therefore I can rewrite this equation as x plus 2 times x minus 2, okay, equals 0, okay. And then we recall from last time, once we have an equation in factored form like this, we use the zero product property. We set this term equal to 0 and this term equal to 0, okay. So either x plus 2 equals 0 or, right, 
x minus 2 equals 0. And then here, I just, in this case, I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. So I get x equals negative 2. Or I add 2 to both sides. And I get that x is equal to 2. And so again, we recover the two solutions to this equation. So we used here, we used the square root equation, I mean the square root technique, where we set the, x, the sole x squared term equal to the number, and then we take the square root so that we can recover the two solutions. And here, we use this formula, which is called the difference of squares, to break down the x squared minus 4, which is the left-hand side of the equation, into its factorization, which is x plus 2 times x minus 2. We set that x factorization equal to 0 because, of course, this factorization and this left-hand side are identical algebraically. If you multiply this out, as I showed you right here before I uh, erased it, if you multiply this out, you will get this. So this is identically algebraically, uh, this is identical algebraically to the left-hand side. And so I set it equal to 0. And then if I have the two real numbers that multiply to give 0, either this one is 0 or this one is 0. And those are the two solutions. Thank you.